good morning children we were studying about organisms and population that is chapter number 13 of class 12 science till last video we have learned about organisms at ecology level today in this video we'll be studying about ecology at population level so let us see uh, the ecology at population level one by one now population population we have already studied in earlier slides that is the number of organisms of a species living in a particular area at a particular time that is called population say for example if we talk of human beings then number of individuals multiple individuals forms a population if we talk of a culture plate of bacteria there in a culture plate there are many bacteria there are large number of bacteria so they that is called population okay and a particular area bacteria forms a population in a particular area that is culture plate at a given time another example is number of lilies or number of lily flowers in a pond in a pond there are many uh, lily plant plants right so that forms a population i hope this is clear to everyone example the examples which we have learned are the first example is the example of culture plate culture plate of bacteria that forms the population the second example is number of lily plants in a pond right now let us move to our next slide and that is individual versus population see individual and population are not same they are different they are different from each other if we talk of individual individual means a single organism individual means a single organism whereas if we talk of of populations group of organisms right second point of difference between individual and population is births and deaths so these are different aspects which shows that population is different from individual if we talk of population population is the aspect of population is birth rate or death rate see uh, if you talk of individual then a single organism can take birth or the organism can die okay so with respect to individual the individual can take birth the individual can die but we cannot say that the population has taken birth or the population has died Uh, why because population includes multiple organisms many organisms right so in that case we consider birth rate that is how many uh, organisms in the population have taken birth or how many organisms of the population have died right the third aspect is male or female if we talk of individual then in Uh, the sex is distinct 
right that is the individual may be a male or the individual may be female right but in terms of population it is sex ratio why because in the population there are males also there are females also so we cannot say that the population is male or the population is female right in that case we need to calculate the sex ratio that is how many individuals in the population are male how many individuals in the population are females right and the fourth aspect is the specific age specific age means a individual may be of specific age the individual may be 10 years old the individual may be 15 years old or 30 years old or 60 years old right but in case of population it is calculated as age distribution in the population or the population can make an, the population consist of the individuals of different ages some of the individuals in the population may be 10 years old they may be 15 years old they may be 30 years old or they may be 60 years old right so in the population we need to calculate the age distribution that is how many individuals are of uh, 10 years old how many individuals are of 15 years how many individuals are of 60 years okay so these are the different aspects that is birth rate death rate birth rate or death rate then sex ratio age distribution right so we'll be studying about this aspects of population in detail now let us see what is birth and death rate taking an example of bird suppose uh, there is one bird the bird has taken okay and the bird may die if we are talking of only individual right so that is a bird a bird can take birth or a bird can die right but if we talk of populations of bird in which many birds are there multiple individuals are there then in that case we need to find out how many birds have taken birth and how many birds have died okay of uh, increase in number of organisms in a population and death rate determines the decrease in number of organisms in a population okay in reality the number of organisms takes birth and the number of organisms die okay uh, it is not that the number of organisms will only take birth or they will only die right the, this process takes place simultaneously so if the birth rate if the rate of birth or birth rate is more than that of death then that will increase the population the population size will increase if the birth rate is more than that of death rate right so the population size will increase on the contrary if the death rate is more than the birth rate if births if deaths are more than that of births okay then that will decrease the population size okay i hope this much is clear to everyone now let us move to our next slide and that is how to calculate the birth rate and death rate see it is not easy to count the number of uh, individuals in a population why because in some cases it is really very difficult say for example if we talk of culture plate of uh, bacteria and in culture plate of bacteria many bacteria are there and it is very difficult to calculate their numbers means to count the numbers of bacteria in the culture plate okay so the birth rates and death rates are calculated or they are expressed as per capita births individuals okay per capita births or deaths right now uh, per capita means per each individual it is 
पर ईच इंडिविजुअल और सिंगल पर्सन ओके नाउ बर्थ रेट is the number of births if you want to diff birth rate is the number of births of new individuals per unit of population per unit time now if we take an example of bird again right then one minute if we take an example of birds again then birth rate is the number of birds of new birds okay in this case the individuals means birds per unit per unit means per bird of the pop means un, uh, per unit year or per year okay here time is year once again if we are considering the example of bird then birth rate is the number of births of new birds as per unit unit means again as per bird in a bird of population per unit time means per year okay let me give you example example uh, if there are 20 birds okay in the population of the birds there were 20 birds earlier there were 20 birds now uh, one year means last year last in the last one year five births have taken place five births of the birds have taken place and in the last one year eight deaths have been taken place of the birds okay then how do we calculate the birth rate and death rate so birth rate this is the short form of birth rate okay so birth rate is equal to number of births of birds upon total number of births okay so here what is the number of birds five five new birds are produced because they have taken birth and the total number of birds were 20 okay 20 so that is equal to 1 by 4 births per bird per year clear so in this way we can calculate the birth rate and death rate for the same that is dr where death rate is equal to number of deaths number of death of births upon total number of births so that is equal to here in this case it is 8 the number of birds which have died is 8 so 8 upon 20 so that is equal to 2 by 5 2 upon 5 per bird per year clear i hope you have understood how to calculate the birth rate and the death rate formulas are given that is number of births for calculating birth rate it is number of births of births of bird upon total number of births and death rate is number of death of birds upon total number of births now the birth rate is also known as natality birth rate is also known as natality okay this natality term is used for birth rate
and uh, death rate uh, is defined as it is the number of loss of individuals per unit of population per unit time again in this case number of loss of birds if we are taking example of birds then individuals are considered here as bird per unit per bird of population per year that is called death rate and this death may be uh, due to different environmental changes like due to environmental changes it may be okay death of the individual may take place because of the environmental changes it may take place because of competition competition between different individuals for the same resources it may take be, uh, place because of predation okay so these are the different reasons because of which the birth the death of the organism may take place right and the death rate is known as mortality okay mortality means the death rate this is clear to everyone so let us move to our next slide and that is about sex ratio as i have already told you in the population there are number of males and number of females it is not that we do not calculate uh, we do not say that the population is male or population is female but it consists of males and females right so both males and females exist in the population and sex ratio is expressed in percentage of males and females it is expressed in percentage of males and females let me explain you this by giving an example if in a population the male individuals are 7 and the female individuals are 6 6 six female individuals are there and 7 uh, male individuals are there right so this forms total the total number of individuals are 13 13 individuals are there in the population so if you want to know the percentage of male percentage of population that is male population in male uh, individuals in the population then that is equal to 7 upon 13 because seven individuals are male and total number of individuals are 13 so seven upon 13 and we we uh, are calculating sex ratio in terms of percentage so into 100 so that is equal to 53.84 percent so 53.84 percent in the population are male Uh, individuals and similarly if you want to calculate it uh, for the females that is percentage of females present in the population and that is equal to 6 upon 13 into 100 that is equal to 46.15% so in a population 46.15% is the female and 53.84% are the males okay so in this way we calculate the sex ratio of the population so that is all for today in our next video we'll be studying about the last aspect or the last attribute of the population and that is age distribution i hope the topics are clear to everyone thank you